to get into a 45 minute chest, shoulder, and tricep workout. All right, you've already saw my pre-workout ritual, the pre-workout concoction I put together. One thing I do wanna point out is I drink energy drinks, all right? Bang energy drinks. If you do not do that and you need a little more energy for this workout or for any of your workouts, the other thing I recommend is straight caffeine, about 200 milligrams of caffeine with that pre-workout cocktail you saw me take and that makes for a tremendous stimulant-based pre-workout. That is it for the workout. Again, chest, shoulders, and tries. It's a great workout. Isn't gonna take you a long time. Just so you know, I wrote it down on my board. One thing I do wanna point out, you see the exercises I just did. Three sets, eight to 10. Lateral raises, I shoot for higher rep range, 12 to 15 range. Same with tricep push downs. So that's the workout. One other point. I want to make, all right, this is for all you guys that have been consistently working out for five plus years. I want to stress the five years or more. This is something that I follow. I typically recommend most of my clients follow this strategy as well. This is my 32nd year of actually working out. One thing I started doing about eight to 10 years ago, four weeks out of the year, I like to take completely off. Typically what I do is I work my butt off till the day before Thanksgiving. From that day, I take the rest of the time off for recover, rejuvenation, mental reshaping as well, because the last thing you wanna do is get burned out when you do this all the time, and that's what you should be doing. All of the time, for the rest of your life, that should be your plan because of the longevity benefits of doing these types of workouts and eating this type of lifestyle. All right, that being said, this is my third workout back. Been off for actually six weeks, which is the longest layoff I've had. There was a lot going on early part of January, so I took a little bit longer off. So the reason I have a five-year window, let's get into that real quick. When you've only been working out for five years or less, it's hard to start back after that long of a layoff, all right? You haven't been doing it a long time to create a natural habit. So it may be a habit, but it's still recreational. You may like the benefits, but after having a four week layoff, it's hard, man, to get back to the grind, wake up, prepare your meals, eat only the meals you're supposed to be preparing. However, the thing I realized is once you've done this over five years, that's a routine. It's a part of who you are, okay? So you just look forward to doing it and when you're taking that four weeks off, although you're enjoying the rest, you're missing the weightlifting. You're missing the structure of the eating. So 
That's why I like that five year window, especially if you've been doing it 10 years, for sure definitely you need to make sure you're taking enough time for mental recovery. And again, just natural joint recovery. Even though you're doing tricon sets and you're doing everything to limit the wear and tear on your joints, they're still taking a beating. They're still becoming stressed over months and months and years and years of the same types of repetition, all right? Doing the same routines. So naturally you want some time off. Allow your muscles to heal, heal your joints to heal, your mind to heal and re get that, reclaim that motivation because that will come after the layoff. Cause like I said, I've taken six weeks off and I've been itching to get back, all right? Yeah, you're gonna start off a little weaker and a little slower pace. Like I said, you just saw me working out and this workout actually made me struggle, made me sweat. It was more difficult than usual. Usually this would be like a deload week for me. However, after a six week layoff, it's a tough workout, man, I'm not gonna lie. But it's far worth the benefits. Okay, all that being said, now I also want to show you, typically after I have a workout, the two important steps I recommend. You're about to follow me into my house and I'm gonna show you my post-workout shake that I make. Also, while I'm drinking my post-workout shake, I'm preparing my post-workout meal. So I wanna show you what that meal consists of. Also, and you're in for a treat because today I'm in the mood for some beef fajitas. So I went, got some grass-fed steak and I'm gonna be showing you how I make my fajitas. That being said, let's go. All right guys, once again, thank you for spending time with me today, going through my workout. You kind of see my pre-workout, my post-workout routine, and also you saw me make my amazing grass-fed uh, beef fajitas. One thing you can do if you like, you can add onions to this. You can add any type of bell peppers to this. Red, green, yellow, whatever you want to add. I just don't like those. I'm more of a simple person, a little more picky. So this is basically all I like, but I promise you it tastes great. It's a great reward for a hard workout. And guys, also if you like this style of video, then please let us know, comment below, let us know. Also give us a thumbs up, share this video as well. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, get busy, get after it, and God bless.